This song really is about choosing someone who isn't your type, if your type sucks. <laughs> Not My Type is a song that I wrote with Mike Mack and Jordan Baum. And I walked in the room and told them a story about how uh, one of my best friends was sort of seeing these two different guys. She wanted me to beat both of them and then tell me which one I kind of thought she should go for. And I said, um, well, I would go with guy A, so you should definitely go with guy B because I have terrible taste in men. <laughs> and, and that's when I kind of woke up and realized like, oh, my type sucks. And I think when you have unkilled trauma, it's really easy to find yourself attracted to the wrong type of person until you heal. You know, it's really hard to fall for someone who's actually good for you. So this song in a way is kind of about healing. I met my current boyfriend and he was so different than all of these guys that I dated, but in such a good way. He just wasn't my type, he was healthy. <laughs> I think this song is a very unconventional love song, but I think it's an important one. Um, if you are the type of person who goes after sort of the same red flags or you sort of have a, a repetitive um, pattern in your relationships, maybe it's time to give the nice guy a chance. Ultimately, this song really is about falling in love and your exes are your exes for a reason. So when you find someone who's different than your exes, that's actually a good sign. <laughs> your exes, if they're all one type, you know, it's time to try for a new type. And uh, that's what this song is about. It kind of sounds like an insult, like, oh, you're not my type. But you know, it's, it's definitely a compliment uh, coming from me. <laughs> so we started writing it. Um, sort of I came in the room and they had built this beat I just wanted to just say a lot because the beat's so fast and and I just said you know I should be more of a hypocrite like I should do more of the you know things that I don't want to do and I, I think I was like it's I, I want to do a lot of stupid shit <laughs> so I said I don't know where this song is going yet but if I heard this opening line in a record I would want to hear the rest I love this opening line though, it's such a good, like if I heard this I would listen to the rest. I should be more of a hypocrite, I should do the opposite of all the stupid shit that I want to do. It was like, anytime I'm attracted to someone, that's my sign to like run the other direction. I should run away as soon as I want to stay. Then, you know, I also realized I was giving other people really good advice about their relationships based on the mistakes that I was making in my relationships. and. So I said, you know, I, I think it's about time that I start like taking my own advice instead of just giving good advice to other people, but then continuing on my bullshit. It's Basically everything that I said in that room as we were talking about it turned into uh, the song. I think my favorite line in the record, if all my exes lined up, they'd look like a lineup. This song really is about choosing someone who isn't your type, if your type sucks. <laughs> the writing process for me usually starts like either a storytelling session or a therapy session, one or the other. And I usually just start rambling. I'm kind of a word vomiter. Like a track starts playing or someone starts playing guitar and I just rattle off like whatever I'm feeling, whatever I'm thinking, whatever I've recently gone through. Um, and a lot of the time it'll just be mid story and I'll say something and they're like, oh, well, there's our first line. <laughs> when we got to talking about the bridge, I love to shift gears and tell a different part of the story. The bridge was self-reflective in a really healthy way um, and maybe in a less playful way. Deep down, I, I didn't think I deserved better. Worthiness is such an important part of dating. If you don't feel worthy of love or a healthy love, you're not usually gonna find one. There is a way to get over yourself, get over your type, love yourself, realize you deserve more. And that's really what this song is about, choosing somebody who actually treats you right, even if you haven't done that in the past. But really grateful to the 87s for writing and producing it with me and you know, ultimately very grateful for my partner for coming into my life and showing me what a healthy love looks like.